The wonderful sheltering grove of plum trees that we have up here is in a bad way and that the winds are going to probably topple more of them. Look at this. This poor beautiful girl is twisting around. They're more leaning and they're falling down. I'm hoping this one's going to live. It has fallen and it is greening up and there are blossoms. But the winds have, um, this storm Kathleen that's coming is going to have 90 kilometer an hour gusts. So you can see here, this one just snapped off during the winter. So I'm hoping that the walls will protect the rest of these trees because I love having this grove of trees as shelter for the lambs. They also have the walls. There's a wall that way, wall that way, and a wall here. And then the yews can shelter in here if the rain gets really bad. And the other sad thing is with this storm coming, the cherry blossom, they're all gonna get shredded off of the trees. So we might have no cherries this year because it's wet, damp, windy, not ideal weather for pollinators to be out pollinating. So we might have a dearth of cherries this year. Very sad bit of a uh, sad event with the um, impending big windstorm. So I've just been going around feeding the ladies breakfast. Those two have had breakfast and their lambs are looking good. And you've joined me. Yeah, I know. Okay. And then there's the, la the yo in there. She's had her breakfast. Oops, she's in under the plum tree grove. These were all self-sown plums because uh, there was about 30 years when this part of the garden wasn't even looked at before I came home. So they self-sowed and grew. And then that yo over there is having her breakfast under a very elderly elder tree. Don't know how much longer it's gonna last. You can see the branch to the left has fallen off. So that elder uh, bush is ancient. I've never, the wind has pruned it, not me. Oh. <laughs> There's Ear Feather out with her stonking boy ram. Oh, the baby shit is so sticky. It's like honey. And the dogs love it. Inca, leave it. I know you love that, but you're not having it. Okay. So she's out. Good girl. You had breakfast this morning. Now, she's very wet on top. Hopefully, you will do okay. There we go. There's loads of grass here. I know your friend, whoever she is, isn't here maybe yet, but she will be soon. Good girl, ear feather. Come on, Inca, leave it. Come on. Coming into the garden. The wind, this should, this lovely bed of mine should be protected or hopefully will be protected by the uh, back of the stable. I've lashed down the top windows in there. But what's going to be really sad is my tulips. My tulips, which are so good for one's mental health. They're looking spectacular. But 90 kilometer hour winds are probably going to do horrendous damage. Look, that one's just coming out. And look at them. Ah. Oh. And look at these. These are just spectacular. I love these ones here. Those will might blow down. But over here, luckily a lot of them are very tightly in buds still. 
Hopefully they won't open in the next few days. But those that are open, this is my papal tree, delicious pear apple. And uh, you have to eat it straight from the tree. And hopefully these won't all get blown off. There's a lot still like that, unlike the cherry trees, which are all in full blossom. But I love these tulips. They're so good for one's mental health this mucky, miserable time of year. Look at these guys, they're pretty down here as well. Look at those beautiful little flowers. So fingers crossed, these guys will stay upright. Over here, they're only just coming up. These aren't even blooming yet. So fingers crossed, things don't get blown over. 90 kilometer an hour winds are not pleasant for, oh look, that's what's called bold. That is definitely bold. You are so bold. You're up on the table. What are you doing up there? I'd advise you to get down. <laughs> you are so bold. Oh, everybody's jealous. Okay, so fingers crossed, my uh, mental health alleviators, my tulips, won't all get blown over over the next. We have two, there's going to be three storms, the one today, the one tomorrow, and the one, there's another one coming on Monday. So, what fun. See, that's another pear tree blooming. That's a pear tree blooming. That's the plum tree blooming. And they might all get blown away. And there's the huge old pear tree that uh, we had genetically analyzed and is from 1735. And it's blooming. That's the cooking pear, the Cadillac cooking pear. And that's the uh, garden paddock. That's where all the yews and lambs are. Ah, fingers crossed these guys will survive the winds. I love this right here. It's so beautiful with the blues and purples and yellows. The tulips are from tulips that were planted in pots last year. It'd be wonderful if they naturalized. But it's just so gorgeous with the, the purples of the honesty. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm gonna have to plant more. All my red tulips that are in pots this year will be planted in this bed. Oh, and we all know who that is. Yeah. jumping on my back <laughs> as I'm looking at the plants. <laughs> Come on, get down. Cheeky cat. Getting more straw before the storm. 
in case trees come down and I can't get straw for a while. <laughs> Everywhere is so saturated and manky. <laughs> I'm on not public roads, by the way. It's farm laneways picking up my bale of straw. That field should have been sown quite some time ago, a few months ago at least, and still not sown. Cats love when I put uh, fresh bedding in. This is the horses. The horses have the hay there. And here's Magpie in the sheep shed. Name's Kitty. Yeah. But I'm gonna go up and let the horses in now. It's a little bit early, but the skies are getting very leaden. So, look at this. It is so wet. So I'm gonna let the horses in. They will be in now for, till Sunday at some stage because of the uh, storm, storm Kathleen. So they'll be out for a little bit Sunday maybe. And then in again, because we have another storm coming Monday. It's wet storm after wet storm. Isn't that right, girls? Time for you to come in. And you know it, too. So, yeah. And little Miss Daisy Rose is ready to come in as well. Look at that. In they go under the plum blossom, which will be all blown away by tomorrow afternoon. Lunchers. Probably had a rude awakening as the horses came galloping in <laughs> and leapt out. Ooh, Magpie got worried as well. So woke up the cats. Come on, come on, Miss Daisy Rose. Atta girl. Yes, snort. Okay, ladies close you in for the next 24 hours or more. Horses are in and now for the O's. Kestrel at the gate pawing to get in. Now, come on, back off. And there we go. Wow, little bit's very big. Little bit's gonna be lambing any minute now. Okay. Now to go and feed the yos up in the garden paddock that have lambs. Ear feathers lamb. Hiding in the grass. Because the ear feather saw the bucket of food. Come on, girls. Are you coming? Hey, girl. Where's your lamb? She's lost her lamb. Oh, no, there it is in the grass. Do 
Java's finding the lamb. Oh no, the lamb's following Mammy. Clever girl. Okay. No, I don't have anything. So your mammy's here. Your mammy's there. This yo, her babies came running with her. The single mammies are eating in here. I'm gonna go and give the screaming twin mammies their supper out near where they are. Single lambs are bigger and get a head start. She doesn't want to leave her babies. I'm coming. Yeah. Look at you with your twins. Hey, sweetie. I love it under here. The trees are fabulous. Hey, you. Yeah. Oh, branches are falling in the food bucket. Come on, Java, let's leave them alone. Good boy. This is a, such a fabulous tree. Okay. Yeah, sweetie, here, I've got it. Yeah. There you go. That's yours. With your two muck savages. Born out in the field. Inca, leave it. Dogs love the milky poos. It's like sweeties to them. I know it sounds disgusting, but dogs' dietary preferences can be very disgusting, particularly when they love rolling in fox shit. Anyway, babies are looking well and nursing well. So those are the five yo's Three sets of twins and two singles fed. It's so sad. This cherry tree is in full bloom. And the wind tomorrow will probably strip all these leaves off, of petals off. So we might get no cherries this year because the pollinators haven't had half a chance to do the pollinating. I haven't heard the tree humming. Hopefully we'll get a few, both for us and for the wildlife. There's about 30 cherry trees of varying sizes here on the farm, various kinds, but there's probably about 20 that are um, edible ones. And this is one of the best and most delicious of them. So we'll have to see if this is going to be stripped of all of its petals after tomorrow's 90 kilometer an hour winds and gusts. So many, so beautiful.